Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be arriving in JFK International Airport in about 20 minutes. According to the latest weather report, there is a lot of fog in the sky at JFK Airport. The official visibility is 2 miles and temperature 13 degrees Celsius. You may have heard this kind of in-flight broadcast before landing at your destination. How does a pilot know this information? Google search? No. Pilots listen to announcements for them. The announcement is called ATIS. ATIS stands for Automatic Terminal Information Service, which provides pilots with necessary airport information. Let's read an example of ATIS broadcast. Kennedy Airport Information Oscar Time 1000 UTC, departure runway 31 left 31 right in use. Expect ILS approach runway 4 left 4 right, departure frequency 124.75, wind 010 at 7, visibility 2 miles with fog, no cloud in the sky, temperature 13, dew point 12, altimeter 29 or 9 or 2 inches, advice you have information Oscar. Then let's learn more about ATIS. 1. Who? The recorded voice in ATIS is computer voice, not humans. Who inputs the contents to be broadcast into the computer? Air traffic controllers. Depending on the airport, ATIS is operated from a control tower, radar approach control, or ramp control. 2. When? Most airports update their ATIS information every hour or every 30 minutes when they receive official airport weather information. In addition to weather information, ATIS is updated whenever new information is available. How do pilots know if the information being broadcast is up to date or not? As seen in the ATIS example, the time when the information has updated appears at the beginning of the ATIS with a phonetic alphabet. Whenever the time changes, the phonetic alphabet are also replaced with the next alphabet. When the pilot first communicates with the controller, he informs the controller of the phonetic alphabet he received. Then, the controller can quickly find out if the pilot has the latest information. The phonetic alphabet is used from Alpha to Zulu, regardless of the date. However, if the broadcast is stopped for more than 12 hours and then restarted, the phonetic alphabet is unconditionally restarted from Alpha. Although ATIS is operated 24 hours at most airports, some airports stop service during times when there are no aircraft. Pilots should listen to ATIS broadcasts in sufficient time before takeoff and landing to prepare for any delays or unexpected events. 3. Where? The most basic form of ATIS is voice, since each airport operates a VHF, UHF frequency used only for ATIS. The pilot sets this frequency to receive voice information as if listening to the radio. However, if pilots don't take notes while listening to the voice, pilots may miss important information. And in order to listen to the missing part again, pilots have to listen to everything from the beginning. DATIS, for short Datalink Automatic Terminal Information Service, is an advanced way to overcome this inconvenience of ATIS. The DATIS system using ACARS provides text format ATIS through a display screen or a printer located in the cockpit. Although there are airports and aircrafts that cannot use DATIS, the use of DATIS is expanding in most international airports. 4. What? What information is included in ATIS? Airport name, expected type of approach, takeoff runway, landing runway, runway condition, expected delay time, wind direction, wind speed, visibility, sky condition, wind shear, no time currently in effect, etc. In addition, ATIS can contain any information essential to pilots. 5. How? The pilot mentions the phonetic alphabet of ATIS when requesting an engine start. Dream 3-2, request starting engines. We have information, alpha. However, if the latest ATIS information has been updated to Bravo, to inform the pilot that the new information has been updated, the controller will say, Dream 3-2, start engines approved, information, Bravo, current.
This also applies to landing aircrafts entering the terminal controlled area. Controller Dream 32. Now position west 40 miles of your airport. Request landing. We have information, Papa. In this way, the pilot tells the phonetic alphabet of ATIS, and if it is the latest code, controllers do not need to repeat the information contained in ATIS. However, if it is not the latest information, the controller should provide the latest phonetic alphabet of ATIS. In this case, adjective current is useful like this: current information, Oscar. Advice when you have Oscar. If the pilot is unable to hear ATIS, the controller tells the pilot directly the information contained in ATIS. Six. Why? The information contained in the ATIS is what pilots must know before taking off or landing. Suppose that the controller informs all of his information directly to the pilot. The frequency will be very busy, and the workload of the controller will be beyond imagination. However, if ATIS is received using a separate frequency or text format, unnecessary communication can be reduced. It is also very efficient for pilots because they can selectively obtain the necessary information. Pilots should listen to ATIS no matter how familiar they are at the airport. That's because there are always unpredictable problems in air traffic, and pilots may miss important information. Controllers should update the ATIS whenever new important information is available, as routine of their job. In addition, controllers should always pay attention to whether the pilot's phonetic alphabet code is up to date or not. A single minor mistake by the controller may cause the pilot to have wrong information or not to know important information. Announcement from the controller for the pilot: ATIS. Subscribe and like are very helpful in producing the next video. ATC for you.